Hello, good morning and welcome to Hunky Dory TV on this pleasant Wednesday morning. Um, I'm Alan Kenyon, I'm one of the product designers here at Hunky Dory. Um, today we've got a Trolley Dash show for you. What is Trolley Dash? Trolley Dash, we ransack our warehouse, get together <laughs> some wonderful products and put them on a special promotional price um, just for the show and for a limited time after it. A lot of these products, they are very, very limited stock. So once they are gone, they are gone. Please jump on them while you can. I'm not alone in the studio today, don't worry. We have... <laughs> we have... We weren't worried. <laughs> my favourite Halliwell in the world. <laughs> who, you know, pipped the spot. Jerry Halliwell was the favourite for a long time. But then I met Sheila Halliwell and she had to be number one. <laughs> Sheila... How's it going in the demonstration it's, station? It's fine. We're all ready to go. Um, got lots of products and tape and scissors and all kinds of stuff. So we're fine. We're good to go. Wit woo. <laughs> <laughs> um, we also have Emily this morning behind the cameras as usual. Hi. Hi, Emily. Hello, Emily. <laughs> okay. So that's our welcome. Um, so we have incredible savings today, up to 75% on some products. So it's going to be a good one. Um, like I say, make sure you don't miss out on some of these things. If you, if you do see anything that you want, please jump on it because I know some of it is so limited. Some of the items that we had on the website this morning before the show have already gone. Um, I was going to be showing you a lot more. This desk was a lot more full. Um, it might be a shorter show than we planned because some things have gone. Sorry. Um, we've also got a pick of the week this week, which is our wonderful Forever Florals Sunflower Bundle. Um, you might have seen this earlier on in the week. It's the net, well, it's our brand new Forever Florals collection, um, which is an ongoing thing for us. It focuses on a particular flower. This time we've gone for sunflowers, which is obviously perfect for this time of year and moving towards the, the autumn months. Um, what is the stock update on that, Em? Uh, have, you, have you got the numbers? have plenty of this but like previous shows it always sells out it does always yeah, sell out so get on it while you can mm. um look back on this week's earlier shows to see that product in full um coming up today shall we look at today's show plan okay so on today's show we've got first off the trolley then we'll be having some dashing good demos with the beautiful sheila halliwell We've got this week's whoopsie, which isn't me. We've, got, <laughs> we've then got more from the trolley, and then we're going back to the demonstration station. It's going to be a Sheila heavy show. <laughs> <laughs> Not that Sheila is heavy, but we're going to be focusing yes, I, on a I lot am. of demos with our wonderful products today. <laughs> okay. Should we do the Win It Weekly? Let's do the Win It Weekly. So this week we're giving you... Oh, Sorry, this week we're giving you the chance to win one of these wonderful glue pens plus 12 glue sticks to go with it. Um, what a wonderful prize. All you have to do is like, share and comment on the video. The question that we're asking you this week is what is the tallest sunflower on record? Is it A, 15 feet? Is it B, 25 feet? Or is it C, 30 feet? I don't know. But I know that sunflowers get particularly tall. I remember when I was a kid, uh, we had a competition at school where we grew sunflowers. I don't think mine grew particularly tall. I think <laughs> mine, mine kind of flopped quite early on. But I remember some of the other kids in class, their sunflowers were absolutely massive. And it could be that I was only very, very small at the time. But in my head, they were like beanstalks. Have you got any ideas on this, Shiva? Um I do know, I do know, um, we have had as well, we were just, you know what, since we launched our, this collection, mm. we have had so many sunflower conversations in this office, you won't <laughs> believe it. Um, yesterday I was at um, Crate and Crafts, so I've come back in this morning and people were waiting for me with photographs. Um, one of our lovely ladies, Veronica, has actually grown some huge sunflowers and she's grown those from the sunflower seeds that you put out for the birds. Oh, yeah. She's just taken them off the bird table, I think, planted them. And she's got some cracking sunflowers in her garden. That's brilliant. Bev's um, 
she's been updating me since probably about June time, sending me photographs, which we uh, put into a journal on, on TV last oh. week. Um, and we've left one page uh, at the back empty for her absolutely humongous sunflower i've never seen anything like it i mean the leaves are, are big as like the top half of my body um it, it's really really incredible so we're waiting for that to actually come out in full bloom and then we're going to put that in the back of the journal but yeah this year i think has been extraordinarily mm. i think they've been more like triffids this, this year <laughs> I, I think there'll be someone somewhere who can probably well, maybe there's someone who can actually tell us, you know, if they've got something that's over like 35, 40 feet even. This this year might be a new record. It could be. It could be a record breaking year. year. Yeah, it could be, couldn't it? There's some there's some whopping sunflowers out there. I've seen some on the way back from Peter yesterday, bobbing over people's fences. They frighten you to death because they're just there, <laughs> like big heads. And then some of our neighbours have obviously planted some of their children. They're popping over the, the fence on the main road. So they just seem to be in abundance of sunflowers this year. So fantastic yeah but i i'm not sure what the answer is i think i've got an idea but i'm not i'm not sure mm. okay so the answer that we're looking for is the current record but as sheila says it could be broken any time now mm. some of you might have some taller sunflowers if you have please send us pictures because we want to see big sunflowers we love them yeah definitely um moving on to it's, it's trolley dash here. time yay <laughs> Okay, so are you ready for some really good deals? <laughs> <laughs> it's in the script. Um, first off the trolley, we have the wonderful Paint Drop Florals collection, which hopefully, if we zoom in, yep. Yeah. So this is what you get with your Paint Drop Florals collection. As usual, let's just remove this little slip because you're not going to be using that, but you, built, you will be referring to this inspiration sheet, which is packed full of wonderful cards that our team here have made. So you can use that for inspiration. You can copy the cards that are on there. You could maybe just take some ideas from it, maybe just see how certain frames or certain sentiments were used. Um, there are some products here on the back that we were going to be having for sale as well today, but like I say, unfortunately, some things have sold out. So the Mattastic and the, the Acetate are no longer available. But this collection is absolutely wonderful. Paint Drop Florals, it takes beautiful watercolor flowers, um, a selection of different varieties of flowers, which I'll go through now, um, and presents them in beautiful, almost textured type images. Um, so you get like the feel of hammered board, even though this is printed on matte-tastic, which is quite a smooth but te um, tactile board. You still get the image of like that hammered um, watercolor board. It's beautiful. Um, you can see how detailed these wonderful sunflowers are. That's sunflowers. Um, beautiful poppies. They just shine so bright from from that wonderful board there. All of these elements are just easily pressed out. They're all foiled. You'll see some little foiled paint splats on there as well, just to give it that more hand finished feel. So you can see them glistening away. We've got a wonderful variety of sentiments throughout. Um, so this top one here says, make a wish. We've got, have a bright and beautiful day um, from me to you. So you can make cards for all kinds of occasions there. We also have foil cardstock as usual. I'll go this way. And you can see the accent foil on the border there. And then there's some more of those wonderful little splats over there. And that's the poppy cardstock. So this, when it was available originally, it was £24.99. Today you can get it for just £9.99. And in this collection, there are four different topper sets, like I'm showing you here. So that was one complete topper set there with the top of sheet, the two different card stocks. There's four different designs of that, but you get two each of those four different designs, so you're actually getting eight topper sets. And in this one, you're actually getting 32 card inserts. So you can see there's one of your inserts there, which is printed on beautiful heavyweight paper. And you can see that it's like a toned down version of 
that poppy card stuff that we were just looking at before. So you can see if you fold that in half and then put that insert inside, you've got a wonderful base for your card. And you've got all the different insert designs that match your card stock throughout. There's the sunflowers again. This one, it's a beautiful pink arrangement of flowers. You've got peonies on there, uh, dahlias, lilies, orchids, some really, really nice flowers. And obviously a lot of them, they can be used for so many different occasions. You've got your foil cardstock again with that nice little floral corner there and then foil at the top. And then you've got your printed cardstock that goes with that as well. Our cardstock is 350 GSM, so it's really, really heavy weight. It's not going to be falling down. You can layer up many, many elements on it and still keep it nice and sturdy. And then we move on to the next set, which is Tranquil Times. This one's a bit more mellow. You've got some blue irises on there. Um, and then you've got nice heartwarming sentiments like, I'm so lucky to have a friend like you. I think this year particularly, I think we've all started just appreciating our friends and family a lot more. Mm. Um, so this would be a wonderful set for you to just be putting together, just sending off to those friends and family that you might not be seeing as much as you'd like to at the moment and just reminding them how much they really mean to you. And there's those beautiful blue irises again with that nice little foil touch to it. Sometimes with our collections, we do accent foil around the actual images that are on it. So we'll bring out little lines of the flowers and stuff. We've not done that with this one. We've gone for those little paint drop splats and foiling the borders, foiling certain words throughout. And I think it for this one, we just didn't want to risk covering up any of those beautiful watercolor details with the foil. Um, so it really is just nice accent foil that frames it. And then this fourth set is called Everything's Rosy. So a nice upbeat set. You can see loads of different roses throughout there. Some really nice little ribbon borders there. You can make some beautiful cards with that. You've got pinks and peaches throughout. And again, you've got your printed cardstock and your inserts that match those cardstocks beautifully. Oops, fiddly. So everything I've just shown you there, you get two of all the toppers and the cardstock, and then you get, is it four each of the inserts? Mm, yes. Yeah. Yes, four each of the inserts. <laughs> Sorry, it's Wednesday morning, maths is not my strong point today. <laughs> um, so you've got 24 <laughs> sheets of your toppers and your cardstock, and then you've got 32 inserts. You get all of that and the inspiration sheet for just £9.99. That is an absolute bargain, and I know that that is selling super, super well. I'll be looking at stock updates in a minute, but I know that that one's flying. Like I say, some of the uh, corresponding products that we have with Paint Drop Florals have already gone this morning. Get that uh, luxury card collection while you can, because it's just beautiful, and you can use it for so many different things. So now we're going to go to the demonstration station with Sheila Halliwell, who is going to make some paint drop florals cards. Okay, so I thought I would go this morning. You know me, I like to be totally prepped. Well, Emily has placed everything in front of me from this collection. So what I've been doing while Alan has been showing all lovely, absolutely stunning um, artwork and also the lovely toppers, the cardstock and everything. I've been just looking, thinking, can I incorporate one topper from each of the sheets along with um, some of the cardstock as well? Now, normally I would put like a one piece of cardstock on the front of my card. I'm going to um, not bother doing a mirror mat on here. I'm going to go straight in with the cardstock, but I'm going to cut, I want to cut four panels, four two inch panels from one of each of the foiled cardstock. So that's going to be how my background works. So if I cut um, some of the cards, so let's start with this one that's got these beautiful roses on. 
So I'm going to cut this to two inches so we have a nice panel like that. Now I'm going to decide in a minute once I've cut the panels if I'm going to do them in stripes that way or I'm going to do them in stripes coming this way. So what we'll do is we'll grab the one with, let's grab the one with the poppies on as well. So again, we'll cut two inches from there. Okay, so we have a panel like that. We're going to also cut a piece from the iris cardstock. And again, we'll do two inches. So even though we're going to be chopping some of this off, we've still got the um, lovely kind of dotty bits in the iris. That's a glorious piece of cardstock. So let's just put them like this. I think we'll probably go um, vertical with these. So we'll have one there. Then we'll have the one with the poppies next to it. So it's going to be a bit a bit wild. We're going to have the roses. And then our final piece is actually got um, like a, there it is, like a corner piece on it. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to bother with that one because I want something that's a little bit more busy. So I'm going to use this one here that's got red and gold. So we've, we've got gold in each panel. So if I turn it that way, and I want to keep the gold on, and that is just gonna work. We're just gonna get the gold on there. That is such a clever idea. Well, we'll see, won't we, in a minute when we put it all together. So what I'm gonna do now, move them up, because I've got a gold line running down here. I'm gonna put this one here. So we'll just mix it up a little bit, like that. So we've actually got a crazy, background going on. So I'm going to glue them in place and then I'm going to cut off the excess bit that we don't need. Um, and then we can put some toppers on here. Um, so let's just pop those to one side and we're going to put the glue straight onto the card. Um, so I'm using some of the fabulous construction glue. If you've got this at home, you will uh, probably be using this as much as I am now because I just adore it. It's just my favourite thing. Um, I know we were getting low on stocks um, but I know we have got some ordered and it will be with us soon, but we just have to have to wait for it to get here. It's probably one of our most requested items, isn't it? It is. You know, it's it's just gone crazy. I don't know why everybody just all of a sudden. Well, I do. It's because it's fabulous. Um, yeah, I think but it's just so easy to use, isn't it? Definitely. Definitely. It really, really is. It's lovely, lovely um, glue. It dries quick. You've got time to jiggle around with it if your um, layers are not quite, you know, in the right place. You've still got a little bit of time to actually move things around um, if you're using it. I'm going to trim just a tiny section off the end there. There's just a little bit of an overhang. So let's just go back up there again now and take that out. There we go. So now we've got a crazy, crazy background here. Okay, but I quite like it because it's a bit, um, it's a bit, it is a bit crazy. So we're going to get the four <laughs> topper sheets now. So we've got our beautiful roses, we've got the iris, we've got the um, sunflower with the poppies, and then we have, again, another mix of, of roses. So we've got lots of different styles on here. And the one, this one that I've got here has actually got a mixture of flowers on. So we've got roses in there. I think we've got chrysanthemum. Um, we've almost got, well, I think we might have some daily in there, possibly an, an iris and then an orchid. Um, mm. So again, a lovely, lovely mix. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop out, we're going to have the poppies first of all. Now I'm not sticking them on yet because I want to do some kind of overlapping arrangement. So I think we're going to have as well the iris. Um, and I wouldn't normally do this. I would normally do one big topper on a card. But what I want to do is show you how lovely these are that, you know, it's a shame to just use one sheet. So let's grab, um, I think we're going to go with that one because that's got greeting on. That says lots of love. I think with this collection, because you get two of each sheet, you, you can go a little bit wild with it, can't you? Of course you can, definitely. You can go absolutely crazy with it. Um, so for anybody that's um, mad about flowers, I mean, this is going to be perfect. But also, I think as well, because we've got um, so many different flowers and putting them all on top of there like that, I'm going to move them in a little bit, it, it would be... 
an ideal um, front cover for like a journal or a gardening diary or something like oh, yeah. that. Um, so again, you can really um, play around with it. Let's just grab some of our foam pads here. You can play around with it and make it look really, really lovely. Now, the other idea I had as well with this was to, because we've got this lovely triangular corner, if you cut this off and put it in the bottom of your card, you could even put a pack of seeds in there. You could put four packs of seeds in of these identical flowers um, and make it more like a, like a gift for a gardener. Um, you could you could easily do that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take some of our pads and we're going to start to build these up. Okay. So just checking on the stock for this yeah. Pink Pop Floral's Luxury Card Collection. Fifty percent of it has already sold. Is it really? So it's selling quick. Oh my goodness! It is lovely. I mean. I don't know who the artist um, is that did these, but the artwork is absolutely stunning. It truly is quite amazing. And, uh, you know, all, ha all um, credit to them because it really, really is it's very, very beautiful. It's a really nice charm to it, hasn't it? That, like there's yeah. imperfections in there that are just what makes it that hand created kind of feel. To yeah, it. definitely, definitely. Okay, so we've got a little sentiment there, and I'm going to grab one of our longer foam strips here. We've got a lot of lovely comments as well. Um, people saying that they really love it, the artwork's beautiful, um, and also they love it when you get two of everything because it means that, you know, you can get the most from your kit. Right, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to do a little bit of chopping here of my... Um, oval frame so you always get like a topper within a frame and usually within another frame as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to cheat a little here so before i actually put my cut, cut this down i'm going to pop a little bit of glue on so let's just pop those over to that side and i like doing this particularly if i've not used um, a mirror uh, mat in the background it still brings lots more gold into it so let's Snip that off there, snip that off there, and then we can just rearrange that back on like that. So we've got a little piece there, and then I'm gonna do a piece at the bottom here. So you can snip into um, these toppers and create like your own, almost like a geometric design. So let's pop that one there. Sally Ann Kenny is asking, is it a 10 by 8 card? You're doing 8 by 8. Uh, 8 by 8, here. this one, yes. Yeah, it's an 8 by 8, this one. You could do a 10 by 8. I mean, um, probably, I'm not 100% certain, but I think you could possibly do, could you do, um, I don't think you could actually. No, I don't think you could get, I'm just thinking you could get 10 by 3, 10 by 8, sorry, out of um, A3 cardstock, but I don't think you can, to be honest. It wouldn't be big enough looking at the, um, some dimensions I've got in front of me here. You can get 8 by 8 from A3, I think, can't you? But that's it. Um, but you could do it um, by using two sheets from our big, um, super size pad of Ink Me cardstock. You could do it and you could do like a joint area. So you could do a, a big card and do like a joining on there um, if you wanted to create bigger, bigger projects. Okay. So now we're gonna put the sunflower on here. And then we have the iris. So the iris is gonna go on flat. Viv Nichols says, I've never thought of cutting the frames like that. It's brilliant. I've never, well, I've not seen that happen a lot. I think it's a really nice touch. Like you say, it just gets that extra bit of gold in there, doesn't it? It does, yeah, and I think it kind of just, it, it, rather a lot of the time when we're making things, we tend to do a frame, so it's framed. And I think with this, because we've got backgrounds going on here, you can almost imagine that this has come from a huge sheet and we've just taken pieces and put them on um so again yeah it's a shame very often when we're making shaker cards and things that middle frame which is very often foiled in gold i i take my toppers out and then think you know what, i don't i don't need that i'm going to pop it like in the you know i'm going to just put it in the bin or something which is really really bad of me i know um but you can do that with your frames okay let's 
perhaps took that let me just i'm just looking on the camera now um where i want to put this because very often i'm going to put it there because i want it to slightly overlap like that now what i want to do is i'm going to get some of my gold gems so it's because we've got the little sentiment here that says lots of love, I'm going to keep that as the main sentiment. I don't want anything else on here because I want you to be able to see the actual flowers on here. So I'm just grab my pokey tool and some of our fabulous gold gems. And because we've got lots of these little, they're almost like, they look like circles. Well, they are here, but here they're almost like little splats. So again, you can kind of bring those splats out a little bit more by adding some gems randomly on the the card so let's just pop a medium sized one i think within this little panel here that we've cut so we can still we'll do one at the bottom there and then we'll grab another one we'll put it here another little one and i really like doing this i really like spacing these little gems out kind of randomly I need to turn that one over let's grab another big one the big ones are really good because on a big card like this they really do kind of um, pop out and, and they don't look like they're too big so that's always a good thing as well so we'll do another little couple of the gems so we'll grab another big one for down the bottom here I think another medium sized one which we're going to put here and then we're going to do another little one just on that red panel because that's more plain than the others. So, and then we'll do another tiny one here, the opposite side of the panel. Karen Brailsford likes your top, Sheila. Oh, does she? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Which I, I think matches the kit. It kind of does. Nice. I've no idea where I got this from. Um, and I really have no idea, but um, thank you very much for like in my top that's very nice and there we go i'm not putting anything else on i wanted it just to be a bit crazy over patterned um but i really quite like it so i'm going to hold it up to the camera there and then you can get the the front shot of it and if i pull it back a little bit like that you can see even though we've gone crazy with pattern um, i think it still works because the colors are so bright you could use it for get well you know you could use it for a scrapbook page if you're a keen gardener you can make an album mm. um and have that as the front cover so don't be afraid to just chop into your cardstock get some patterns on them different colors don't be afraid you know because they're in um foiled frames they still pop out as well so you know go mad <laughs> lots of people loving that idea we're cutting up the the frames oh. loads of great feedback on that and loads of people saying that they're going to be copying that idea oh good so, yeah well done for that inspiration sheila oh thank you you truly are the gift that keeps on giving <laughs> um I think we're going to stick with you for a little bit because okay. I think you've got something else to show us. I have got something else to show you. So let, just let me grab this, first of all. So what we've got here, oh my goodness, when these were first um, invented, should I say, I went crazy because we brought out four different designs at a time. And um, gradually, obviously, um, you know, over time, we've, we've sold them and they've got less and less and less. This was one of my favourites because this, again, this is really crazy. It's one of our marvellous mirror pads. Um, now, who'd have thought over time that you would get patterned mirror card? Like, gold, silver and rainbow wasn't enough. We then went with patterns. Um, we have a very, very good, reputable um, firm that does all our printing. And they, whatever magic we come up with, they just grab it and, uh, you know, and take it to its full um, capacity. This is amazing because look at that gingham cardstock, eight by eight, but it's mirror. Mm. It's crazy. Whoever thought of that, look at it. If I lift it up there now, you're getting that full reflection. Um, it's tough cardstock as well. We've got 24 sheets in here. Um, oh my goodness, look at all these colours. You've so got I... so many different colourways yeah. that, that are just going to match so many different cards that you make. And you can make cards for men with it, you can make cards for, for ladies, for kids. For uh, anybody. And you know, there's nothing wrong with using this at Christmas as well. And look at the price of it, $4.99. These were um, $11.99. The first show we ever did with the coloured mirror pads. Um, we had pastels, we had darks, we had brights, um, and we had like metallics. And I launched them on Create and Craft. And I was 
in my element. I couldn't contain myself before that show. Um, and then we brought in the patterned ones and we've done all kinds of patterns and they were 11 99 And I mean, there are steel at that because of the quality and the, the different prints and the effects as well you can create. We've got, I mean, we've got gold on silver gingham, you know, um, what better thing to use, especially at Christmas. But this is now... Four ninety-nine, um, and the good thing is it's in a pad as well so the whole of it is usable let me just show you something here with this right and, and I've done this with a lot of the front covers of my actual pads so if you've got something like this and you've got um, say for instance you've bought the sunflower kit in the sunflower kit you've got that huge topper which is I'm just going to grab this um, which is actually bigger than this you've got that huge sunflower topper a lot of our um, dies are big a lot of our toppers are huge you can when you get to the end of this pad take your front cover off right if you've got the bigger um circle a bigger circle topper than this which you are bound to have because our toppers sometimes are very very big you can use that on there you could then take um let me grab okay i'm trying to trying to show you something here just to show how you get your best um quality for, from everything we do here so if you imagine this topper is bigger and we do have big toppers like that you can put that over there right now there's nothing else on the front of that pad barcode okay you can cover the barcode with a greeting you can put a strip of mirror along the bottom you can use the front cover try it honestly i would be i'd love to do a challenge where people use their front covers um in the best way possible and then of course as though that wasn't enough turn it over you've got our fabulous grey board. This is, I have grey board at home in uh, like drawers. I love it, I feel like I can make anything. As long as I've got grey board and adorable scorable, I'm fine for the rest of my life. Even if I had no friends, I was the last person <laughs> on the planet. I would happily survive um, making you know myself dens and like plates and things <laughs> like that. I really would. I'm not, I'm not mental, honestly. I just love cards so much. Use that whole pad, 4.99 don't miss this because it's fabulous and we've not got lots of them so once they're gone they're gone they are selling quick um coming up to about 25 percent. looking at the stock updates really that has gone already so oh my goodness that's another one that's flying oh um, my goodness and it's with it being gingham and obviously miri you can just use it in so many different products um, absolutely and projects four pound 99 down from 11 pound 99 it's an absolute steal it definitely um, is definitely is Sheila, yes, we're coming back to you. Again, you are coming back to me. I was thinking, Sorry, I hope all, it comes all back my to me. products have already it's gone. <laughs> Alan, you're, so, you're a good salesman. I must be. <laughs> <laughs> it's either I don't know that or, it's, or it's your handsome good looks and your charm, and you're just you know, you everybody loves flirt. Alan. I think it's just um, look of the draw, Sheila. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I first started here, um. We, we did a first bit live on my, fir my first week. I think it was like the second or third day. And I mm. think you came in dressed um, dressed up a bit. <laughs> and everyone said, oh, this is Alan. Have you met Alan? And I was like, yeah. They said, Alan's uh, one of our good looking blokes. And I said, oh, he is, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's really nice. And they said, yeah, it's too late. It's taken, it's taken. Um, and they said, his, um, his girlfriend sits like a seat up from you. And I was like, oh gosh, I didn't know. And there was me on Facebook going, oh, he's a good looking chap, isn't he? So yeah, all you ladies out there, I know when we first introduced Alan, you were all like, oh, oh, oh. so he's, he's coming all dressed up. He's very smart. He's a true gentleman. We adore him. He's an absolute gem. Thank and you for all those lies, Sheila. They're not Thank lies, you. Alan. <laughs> uh, they're not lies, honestly. It's, it's the truth. Um, so we love Alan very dearly. So so when we do trolley dash and they said it was with alan i was like yes so alan is handed um the reins back to me for a minute while we show you these other <laughs> um fabulous products oh my goodness 4.99 i've just seen that now oh my goodness this is a lovely dye this is a moonstone dye beautiful birdcage you've got nine dyes in here um you've got the beautiful you can see the birdcage there if i move it over a bit you've got the three birds you've got two flowers you've got the sentiment that says you're so special you've got that lovely swirl with the flowers and then you've even got the chain so that you can hang up um the birdcage whether you stick it onto a card or whether you put it in an aperture it's absolutely lovely um 4.99 that's crazy look at all those dies on there you can see that's the size of them um 
they are lovely i'm going to be using this in a demo in a minute so i'm going to um, show you a little something you can make but then that's not the only die set we've got and you know what this was one of the first i think this was one of the first die sets wasn't it that came out um, I looked at it and I actually, there were two, there was this one mm -hmm. and there was, I think they were with the Twilight Kingdom, weren't yeah. they? Yeah, it was so the, the very first Twilight Kingdom yeah. about four years ago. I think. Yes, so there was this one and there was the other one with the fairies on and I bought the fairies because there was a boy kind of fairy on there as well and I loved that whole collection. Yeah. Um, so I bought those and that was before I worked at Hunky Dory and then this one, I didn't have, I loved it because I loved that uh, unicorn, I loved the carriage. Um, and I kept looking at it and I didn't buy it. And then eventually, not long back, probably about six months ago, I bought it. I went, right, I'm just going to buy it. They would have probably let me have it, but I just went and bought it. Um, it's beautiful. Look at it. And this is on at $4.99 as well. These should be $14.99. So I reckon if you went online or you went into a shop, um, they would be full price. You can get them here, $4.99. They are beautiful. Both this and the birdcage one, the very kind of Alice in Wonderland style as well. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, and as we always say on our um, shows on Create and Craft and on Hunky Dory TV, we always say that these are tools, so you can use them again and again and again and again. So, we are going to demo with this lovely cage one. Now, I've looked through my uh, box of dies this morning quickly, but I couldn't find it, so I'm going to have to open this one, but it is beautiful. So, there are lots of people who like to open their dies down the side. I like to cut mine across the top because very often I am travelling um, either around to um, the studio in Peterborough or for demos, inspirations, so I like to have mine stacked in a box, so that's why I keep them on the card and I open it at the top, but that's entirely up to you. That makes sense, because you, you just turn that packaging into a sleeve then, don't you? Yes. And it'll just protect it. As yeah, you, as and, and of course then I can just flick through the box with them all in, and um, they're all different sizes, so I know that it's going to be in there somewhere and all the bits don't fall out. So we're going to take this off the tape. Now these are taped on, uh, onto the backing, fairly solid. For those of you who've not had a die before, um, and these are great prices. If you're new to die cutting or you've just got yourself a machine, um, these are fabulous. Now what I'm going to do, I rather than just use the cage and put it on a card, I want to actually make a little cage. So it's going to be quite quick. So what I'm going to do, just move all my stuff out of the way here for a minute. I'm going to put the machine on and I'm going to grab the big plates. Uh, and what I'm going to do is cut this one out first. So let me just grab some of our low tack tape. I can see some right in the bottom here of the tub. Perfect. What I'm going to do is cut it from memory card. So I'm going to cut four, um, four cages. Okay, so have we got a lot of stock of this, Alan, or have we... I'm just checking on the stock of this one. Um... Let's just... Grab the end of the tape there. I can't grab the end of the tape. Let's use the smaller one. Okay, so the beautiful birdcage, 25% of that, well, just coming up to 25% of that has gone already. Really? Um, the Magical Kingdom, we have slightly more stock. Okay. Um, but if you love dies, £4.99 for each of these die sets, it's such a wonderful price, isn't it? Definitely. And you know, if you've got um, like children and grandchildren that are crafting, um, and you don't want them to use your dies. This is a great, a great price for them. If they've got a little machine, mm. little cranking machine, these would be perfect. If I look at the size of that, that actually measures that cage. When I when I pull the die out, I'm going to do a little quick measurement for you, just to see if it would go through your. Um, I think I might pull the plug out there. There we go. Okay, let's have a look. We did this the other day, me and Natalie, and we, I've pulled the plug out. There we go. So let's get that coming back through. We've got a couple of people asking if I'm embarrassed after that wonderful little um, description what of me from you. What? No, absolutely not. I, no, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> not well, you. <laughs> all I was going to say, well, I'm not embarrassed about saying it, because I'm being honest. Oh. I'm always honest. Alan is a true gentleman. And a lovely person. No, she, Sheila um, is one of the most wonderful people that you'll ever meet. <laughs> so I am very lucky to work with her. We're getting proper loved up here. Yeah. Just. <laughs> Get a room. <laughs> Get a room. 
Uh, but we've also got an update from Caroline Humphreys, who says, my dog is called Alan too. So oh, I think, see? I think that's my favourite message that we've had so That says today. it all, doesn't it, Joe? Hello, Caroline. Hello, Alan, <laughs> Alan the dog. What kind of dog is Alan the dog? Oh, yeah, let's know what kind of hmm. dog Alan is. It's amazing how a lot of people now do call their dogs um, like a, a name that you, you'd call your child. So I know I have friends who've got um, dogs called Dave. Um, my, oh no then, what was my friend's dog called? He was a greyhound. Um, oh my God, I'm going to have to think of, of what his name was. It was, um, oh, it wasn't, oh gosh, it's, that's going to drive me crazy now trying to think. Um, we also have a friend whose cat was called Colin. Um, <laughs> Colin the cat. Um, <laughs> Oh my goodness, isn't it? It's fun, isn't it? It really is quite, quite fun. When I was at uni, my friend Rachel had a hamster called Becky. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? We um, used to go on bonfire night. We used to go up to the um, like local... It was, it was on the church vicarage field, actually. And it, what it was, was like the bonfire night party. So what we did, we used to go up there and you could go and like throw ping pong balls and win a fish. My brother-in-law um, won us all a fish. So my older sister, it was, it was her boyfriend, my older sister, she called hers um, Glug. 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 <laughs> I called mine Goldie. Obviously, it was Goldfish. And my sister called hers Janet, my younger <laughs> sister. So we had Goldie, Glug and Janet. And, uh, you know, we still laugh about that now. Um, you don't remember Janet the fish. So yeah, it is a bit. It's, it's funny, isn't it? Let us know if you've called any of your pets uh, by the names that we would normally call our children. Oh, our cat, um, Catherine from the office. Her cat is called Eric. Eric. Yeah. Our wonderful Catherine Hollis. Bertie. We've got a horse called Winston. Winston. Yeah. Um, oh, I is that because he's a winner. Maybe. Rex, Bob. And what was the other one there? Hans. Donna is saying her grand's dogs were called Rex, Bob and Hans. Nice names, very nice names. Update on Doggy Alan. Alan is a miniature long-haired Dachshund. Oh six. my goodness, this is fabulous. In fact, Caroline, I didn't realise your, your profile picture is a picture of little Alan, isn't it? Oh, is it really? Oh he, my goodness, how cute. That's so cute. Oh yeah, let us know what your pets are called. I love that. Right, we've got two cages now. So I'm going to cut two more. So I'm being a little bit slower with this just because the, we had a little uh, mishap there with the machine because I'd switched, I'd pulled I think it. We covered and, it up. Pardon? I think we covered it up with, with animal chat. <laughs> I think we have. And you know what? That's nice. I know we're on a trolley dash and we're supposed to be dashing, but Alan, with you and your dashing good looks. And. Uh, Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a loving today, isn't it? Oh, you give me a big head. Never. You, you, you give me rosy cheeks. <laughs> okay, we've got um, Anne saying they are goldfish that were called salt and pepper. Budgie <laughs> called Boris, after <laughs> Boris Johnson. As he has a yellow <laughs> head. As he had a yellow head, I love that. <laughs> That's from Lynn Parry. Oh, oh my goodness, look at this. this is Best one. Amy Dodd says her niece has two guinea pigs. One's called Fluffy and the other's called Sheila. Oh, <laughs> little Sheila guinea pig. <laughs> How funny is that? I think we should get some guinea pigs in the office and name them after us. Oh, yeah, can you imagine? But I'm not taking them home in the holidays. Manny, we don't have holidays like school, do we? We don't <laughs> we shut don't. down for like six weeks at summer and two weeks at Easter. Who's taking them home? You take three home and you bring 18 back, don't you? <laughs> That Something to, happened. Yeah, I don't know what it was. We thought they were all boys. <laughs> that, was, that was the classic one, wasn't it? When we used to take gerbils home from uh, from school and school holidays. We did it once. And we uh, we kept them in my neighbour's shed um, because she had a shed. We didn't have a shed at the time. But we, she said, you can keep them in my shed over summer. Um, and we, there were two of them. And when we went back, there were about 19 of them. Um, <laughs> they, were, they were just gerbils galore, honestly. It's, uh, put them in a shed and they're away, aren't they? <laughs> but yeah, fabulous. It's lots of fun. Right, we have three cages. 
Oh yeah, bird cages. That's what we're doing. Th we are doing bird cages. <laughs> And we've got one more to cut, and then this will be really quick because I'm just going to put it together like a proper little cage. Um, so we can show you how to do that. And basically, it's just a matter of folding. If you want to, you can use your scoreboard. But what I'll do is I'll show you how to do it. So we need one more birdcage, and then we are good to go on the um, putting it together which is really, really quite quick. Okay, let's just pop these bits out of the die. And then what we can do is we can pop the last one through. I've got a bit of tape on my die, so it's just holding those bits in, but that's fine. Get those out with the use of our fabulous three-in-one brush, which is one of our most used tools here at Honky Dory. If you haven't got one, grab yourself one. It, you know what, the amazing, look at that. We've got two in here today. Some days we have none. Today we've got two. I just don't know how that happens, but <laughs> anyway. Right, last bird cage. So this will be a quick cut. You're gonna use one big piece of tape across here. Nearly 40% of that bird cage has gone now. Really? That is fine. That's good. That's good. And again, this is one of those that, you know, it's it's like a core die, but it won't be around forever. And once it's gone, we won't get this back. This is not something we will get back because obviously we work on new products all the time. So we have a lot of what we call core dies, core cardstock, which is like something that we keep in stock all the time. So something like um, nesting dies, you know, something that you use um, a lot in your crafting. So it's not necessarily connected to a themed collection. So we have a lot of core products here at Hunky Dory, but obviously um, over time they do go because we have to update, um, you know, and, and move on to new things. So these won't be around forever, these particularly one, particular ones. So grab them while you can. I think at 4 99 that's uh, quite an incredible deal. It is, I don't it? think. There's many dies out there at the moment of, of that size and that quality and different no, dies in it. For absolutely £4 not. No, it's um it's a really, really good price that. And especially I think because we've got the little we've got the unicorn on there and then we've also got the um uh, oh that's yeah, that's the four ninety nine one as well. We've got the little like princess on there. Um, and then we've got the bird cage, we've got the birds, really, really useful, and the sentiments in there as well. So, fabulous, fabulous uh, dies for that price. Okay, so we've got four bird cages now. So this is how you can now make a cage. And I was thinking I would do this rather than a card because it's nice to be able to make something a bit more kind of chunky or three-dimensional and because we're going to be you know once we get into September a lot of us are going to be starting to look at uh, Christmas things Christmas ornaments gifts things like that this is a lovely one to make and hang up um, and also to put on your Christmas tree as a decoration so look at the mess on the mat is an absolute the table is an absolute uh, mess but we've got four cages now so what you can do you can either take your scoreboard um to score it um down let me show you if i grab the scoreboard it's actually easier to show you because that way then um you can see where we are scoring and you get all your folds in the same place so i'm going to just do it on the white side so i can see what i'm going to do i'm going to go um and I'm, I, you don't really need to line it up like you would normally do because we're just going to go down the... You see we've got one um, cage like piece here and then the second one. So what I want to do is score between those, okay, like that. So we're going to go on that one and we're not scoring on the line, we're scoring on the gaps in between. Then you must remember to push it out that way. So you're bringing out the sides of the cage onto the outside. So you probably don't need your scoreboard for that. You can just do it by hand. Okay, let's just grab that bit of paper out there. Okay, so remember, in between, you need to fold in between the two prongs. And we're gonna do that on all four of them, like that. Ah, I see what you're doing. Do you see what we're doing, Alan? I see what you're doing. I thought you were gonna do something else. No, no. 
I'm doing a little bit of, um, well, it's, it's easy, this. You'll have me on your design team in a bit. <laughs> I'd, I'd love you on my design team. No, you won't actually because I'm rubbish on computers and you can't design unless you're good on a computer. So <laughs> I'm better just sticking with card and paper, I think. Um, I think I will be too stressed. Well, you are a master of what you do, so I think taking you off that would be a shame. Okay, well, leave me on this. Oh, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we've done our fold. So what we're going to do, we're going to add a little bit of glue. So once it decides to come out, so I'm using construction glue again. So you don't need loads on, but you can probably kind of see where I'm going with this now. What we're going to do is glue the two together like that. Okay. And then once we've done that, we do the same again on the next panel. So we'll do some glue on here. You can use um, any glue you like. You can use your, um, just your white, like PVA craft glue. Okay. So we can just stick these together. And obviously um, it's a bit fiddly, but once it's put together, it's really, really nice. And you can remember, you can do this from Mary. You can do it from um, just, you know, your regular adorable scorable, because it, it's gonna fold and score beautifully. You could do a six-sided cage if you want to. You could do a like a triangular one with three, mm. but I'm just doing a four-sided cage. Yeah, this is gonna look so pretty because, because it's so delicate. It's very delicate, yeah. Definitely. I mean, you could even cut it from, if you've got some, um, if you've not got grey board, I mean, I'm not sure how well it would cut through grey board. It would probably cut fine um, as well. But you know what you can do? You could cut it maybe three or four times from a cereal packet and mm. then cut it from Miri and stick those on top. Um, so it then gives you a much tougher cage. But I quite like the fact that, it, that when we... Um, lift it up like that, it's got um, white on the inside. Now remember as well, you could put some acetate strips across, cut those birds out back to back and put the birds in. But then what you can do as well, because we have got, I just grab a piece of ribbon and just show you this, some thin ribbon and then we're done. And we can um, go back to... Stacy, who is our designer of most of our dyes here at Hunky Dory, has been in touch on the comments okay. and confirms that Sheila is not good at computers. <laughs> Thank Apparently, you, Stacy. Stacy had to help you use the electronic order machine at a certain fast food restaurant. <laughs> she did, yeah. She did. Uh, there's, there's another story. Yeah, I like, you know You're what? One of them, I like talking you? to a person. Um, I like saying, can I have chips with that? Um, yeah, she, yeah, Stacey laughs about this with me lots because, um, you know, when you go for a, right, you know, when you go through a drive through and you get a meal um, and they say to you, well, they ask you what you want. You say, like, I want, you know, a burger or whatever and I want fries. And then they say, do you want it as a meal? Um, well, usually I'm like, no, I don't want it as a meal because I don't want to drink. And they go, oh, right. OK. So I said, no, I want it all separate. So Stacey um, <laughs> thinks that is the most hilarious thing because she goes, just get it as a meal. I'm like, no, I don't want to drink. I don't want to drink with it. I've already got a drink in the car. So then you, can, and then you can't have it as a meal. And then I've asked once, I asked once, could I have ice cream with it um, rather than, you know, a drink? And she said, no, no, because then it's not a meal. <laughs> so that put me off. And Stacey can't understand that. She, she just says, just get it as a meal. I'm like, I don't want it as a meal. I just want separates. So um, she'll probably be laughing at that now. Uh, but yes, she did have to help me because I went into the restaurant. I was like, oh my goodness, no, no, they've got computers. What, you don't ask the person? You order it on the computer. She says, yeah, it's a touch, touch screen. I'm like, but I don't want a meal. It comes up on the machine. Do you want it as a meal? I'm like, no, I don't want it as a meal. No, I don't. That birdcage is <laughs> Look how amazing. cute that birdcage is. Right, what you can do, if you want to put a bottom on, I'm not going to show you how to do the bottom, but what I would do is pop that on, score around the edge or draw through it with a pencil and then make your little base, put some like a score lines around the edge to create almost like a, a base of a box and you could then fit that in. Um, but again, imagine those hanging up on your Christmas tree. How cute are they? Oh, that'd be fantastic. Isn't it lovely? And that's it. 
of dies is just 4.99 and that's just one of the dies so imagine you know putting some little fairy lights in there and hanging them up all along like your, your window or in your garden in summer or something it's really really very cute isn't it it's just crying out for a little bird in there it is it's absolutely beautiful so i'm sorry that it. wasn't very dashy but we got there in the end, but oh, I, I think, think it's really um, cute. So grab yourself that die and you can be making some cages like that. I think you've shown such a, a brilliant idea with that because, you know, you think of dies, you just think of them as, as making these flat die cuts and what yeah. you've made there is, yeah. is a proper 3D thing. Yeah. Like say, it's, it's, it's a beautiful decoration. It's design. really cute. I, I just love it. It's yeah, really cute. Wood says that you could use them as uh, wedding favours. <gasps> Is that oh our... yes! Is that our lovely dawn? Oh mm. no, that's a, or is it? It's, a, it's another lovely. Oh, it's dawn. another lovely dawn. We, we have a dawn, we have a dawn wood, wood who here. works here. Um, who yes. Is currently off on maternity leave. Hi, dawn, if you're watching. Um, but we also have a dawn woods who is a fan that we see quite often on here. So hi, hi, hi to both the dawns. Um, Definitely. We've had a request. Sorry, I can't remember who asked it, but another request to see the question. Can we get the question yeah, back up for a sec? Okay, so this week's Win It Weekly question to win the fabulous glue gun and is it 12 glue sticks that you get in there? And 12 glue sticks with it. Um, all you have to do is answer the question that's on your screen at the moment. You have to like, share and comment as well, of course. Um, just answer this simple question. What is the tallest sunflower on record? Is it A, 15 feet? Is it B, 25 feet? Or is it C, 30 feet? And as we were saying earlier on, some flowers grow pretty tall, so mm. I'd be going towards the higher end. Um, we've had lots of answers coming in and pretty much everybody's going for the same one. So if you're not quite sure, maybe see what everybody else is saying. And sometimes it is all right to copy what other people do. Um, I hope you win that wonderful prize if you're taking part in that. Okay, uh, so moving on to our next product in our trolley dash. It's all wonderful. It's a Cat's Life stamps, which you can see here in front of me. Unfortunately, you can't see them that well, but if I move them that way. So it's a Cat's Life it was a wonderful uh, collection that we did. It focused on different types of cats. Um, so you had like tabbies in there, you had um, Russian blues, all different types of cats and some really cute kittens in there that you, you might have yourself and um, who doesn't love seeing a cute little cat on a card they're just so adorable i know where we live we've got loads of neighborhood cats and there is one that's a kitten that's just it's Aww. the cutest thing and i keep seeing it every day and i just want to take it home <laughs> um sheila i think you're gonna show us some of these stamps yes i am um because we thought we'd show them on the overhead camera and then you get the um the best kind of view of them um, so we're going to show you these and then give you an idea. So if I move this one forward, okay, so this one is just called Kitty Cats and it says all you need is love and a cat. So we've got the little kittens here playing in the tunnel. If I turn it over like that, you can see it a little bit better. So that's the stamp you're going to get. Um, it's really, really nice. There are 16 sets in this bundle for $19.99. So that's a really crazy price. But that's one of them. Then we've got the house cat. And again, this is lovely because it says house cat at the bottom. Um, and it's in the basket, it's fast asleep, so I'll be a bit quiet to I show you this one. Because <laughs> I don't want to wake it up, it's had me up all night. So, um, so, but look how cute it is in the little basket there. That's the lovely little house cat. And the beautiful thing about cats, um, stamping especially, is that you can call them whatever cat colour you want to. Um, so we've got the black and white tuxedo cat here, and we've got the cat on here as well, and the tiny, tiny little mouse. There we go. Tuxedo Cat is the one that's got like a white chest with like a black bit near its neck. So it looks like it's wearing a tuxedo. But look how cute it is. It's really sweet. And you've got Little Mouse on there as well. Then we have got Have Lots of Fun. So we've got Kittens at Play. Um, this is really sweet because they're on the cat tower here with the tunnel. Three of them playing. Um, Cats seem to carry on playing no matter how old they are, I think. Um, really, really lovely. But again, you can colour them different colours with your pencils or with your watercolour paints or your brush markers. Then we've got the tortoise shell here. And this one is a lovely stamp. It's playing with the butterfly here. And it actually says tortoise shell. 
And that's why I really like these stamps, because they're a bit more specific. So rather than giving you a greeting, if you know someone that loves her tortoise shell cat or his tortoise shell cat, it's really nice because you can actually put the name and the, uh, I was going to say the brand of the cat. It's not the a brand, brand, is it? It's, <laughs> it's the actual the breed. I mean, not brand, breed. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> is that a trademark? <laughs> so, um, last of all, here we're only showing you six because if we showed you all 16, we'd be here till about two o'clock. So, we, here we have, I love this one, Domestic Tabby. It's having a little dip there into the goldfish bowl. Cheeky. I know it is, isn't it? So, again, <clears throat> this is a lovely one. You could use some acetate to make the goldfish bowl look like proper water. Really lovely one. Um, and again, I just love these, uh, this collection. I love the cats, they're beautiful. So those are 16 of those for 19.99. That's a lot of stamps. That is an incredible price. It is, it As is. As you can see Fabulous. on screen there, the original price of that bundle was £79.84. Um, so that's a whopping saving of 75%. That's massive. Uh, if you're just getting into stamping or if you love stamps, jump on that one just under 20 pound for those 16 stamp sets um per perfect for making cards for any cat lovers out there you can really really personalize them with whatever color way you want as sheila was just showing you then on the back of our stamps we have just like coloring inspiration so yeah. if you're not sure what color you want you want to make them there's ideas there but obviously you can color them whatever color you want them to be um wonderful wonderful camp cat stamps Okay, so our next product during Trolley Dash today, sticking with the stamping theme, we have the Perfect Backgrounds stamping pad, Splendid Stripes. Now, this is wonderful, especially for your Christmas crafting, I would say, because if I open this pad here, you will see that we've got some beautiful candy cane stripes there. What's wonderful about these pads, you've got your red and white stripes there on the back of the sheet, is a full page of the red. So that's ideal for if you're folding, matting, layering, using whatever you want. You could stamp something straight onto that plain background there and then frame it with the stripes. You've got 12 different designs in here and four of each, or 12 different colorways, shall I say, and four of each. So then it moves on to like a pink. And again, the pink's the same. It's got the pink at the back. Then it moves on to a purple, which has the purple on the back. And I'm not fast enough at getting these over. You've got blues in there. You've got a darker blue and a lighter blue. So you can see completely different blue tone there. There's like turquoise color in there. There's greens. There's yellows, there's oranges. And stripes are just perfect for so many different things. That pad is eight by eight size. Like I say, there's 48 sheets in there that will keep you going for lots and lots of crafting projects. Um, when this was originally launched, it was £9.99. Today, 50% off, just £4.99. Please put that in your basket where you can. That, as one of the more core products, that one's gonna be flying because you can just use it with so many different things. Um, and then we're gonna be moving on to our next product, which is an, exci an exciting one. Do we have something special for this? No, it's just this week's whoopsie. Do we not have a whoopsie sound or something? No, oh. that's a good idea though. We can that's do that next time. Whoopsie. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this week's whoopsie is our mega deal. Um, down from £4.99, now just £2.49. It's the bite-sized book of plain sailing, and this would go wonderful with those uh, stripy papers that we've just been looking at. Um, this is one of our bite-sized books, so it's 72 pages in an A6 pad. You can save yourself. It says saves. Oh, it Yeah, anyway, now £2.49, get this one while you can. Throughout this, We've got some beautiful artwork of different sailing ships. There you go, little dockyard scene there. There's a, a lovely little cottage in the background. I think that one, is that like a little tugboat? Sorry, yeah, I'm not very so. nautical. <laughs> yes, you um, are. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> a, <laughs> hello, you are Sarah. now. <laughs> 
Um, a nice <laughs> yacht there. So throughout this, you've got 12 different designs and you get six of each, which is why you keep seeing that yacht. <laughs> there is a beautiful uh. coastal scene. Sorry. Um, and you can see that wonderful lighthouse there. I just love lighthouse images. Um, in our front room for a long time, we had a, a coastal theme. We're just updating it now. I've turned that the wrong really? way. Really? Wow. Uh, because I grew up in a little coastal town called Formby, um, I'm very, very Gross. fond of the beach. So for a long time in the house, there were shells and little um, lanterns and stuff around there. Oh. I think that coastal theme is still very, very popular. A lot of people tend to have it in their bathrooms. We had it in our front room, but now we're, we're just shaking things up a little bit. But that, that coastal theme, that seaside theme. Reminds me of Jolly Morgan where I'm from. Jolly Morgan. Jolly Morgan. I love Jolly Morgan. Oh. Um, yeah, I think we all love the beach. It's just so calming, isn't it? And I think it that is. imagery as well. There's just so many nice pictures in there. Um, if you know somebody who likes sailing, if you know somebody who likes being on a boat, you can make some wonderful cards with that. Only £2.49 for those 72 pages. You could actually make 72 cards out of that just by taking out each page and putting them on a card blank. Um, so for £2.49, that is an absolute bargain. Uh, that's another one that we've only got very, very limited stock on. So please, please do jump on that. Uh, it's the perfect addition to your basket if you're already buying stuff with it only being £2.49. It might actually boost your basket up to, to get you that free postage. Um, so now we're going to go to another demo, aren't we? We are, yes. Are you going to show us what we can do with our whoopsie? Yes, yes, um, I am. I'm going to try and be as quick as possible. Um, so what I've done, I've taken some of our fabulous, adorable, scorable, some of the red and the blue. I've taken an Ink Me card. Uh, an 8x8 eight eight, and I've cut a piece off the front which measures 2 inches so I've actually left um, sorry it measures it does measure 2 inches it measures actually 3 inches so I've left 5 inches on there sorry my maths exactly don't put me near a computer um, or a calculator because, or a calculator yeah or maybe do <laughs> put you next to a calculator <laughs> maybe yeah so what I've done I've um, cut a piece of the blue cardstock down um, and I've taken the colours just basically because we've got a lot of blue and red running through this um, little book, our little bite-sized book. I love these, they're so cute. Um, so we've gone with some red as well, slightly smaller piece of red. Okay, so we're just doing some layering first of cardstock. So let's pop that onto there. And then the piece that I cut off the front of the card is going to go onto a piece of blue, the lighter blue. Um, so we're going to pop that onto there and then that will sit in the middle of the card along the bottom. So let's get that stuck on there. So we're just, whoops, whoops, whoops. I just need to go down into the cupboard to pick that up. It's got glue on it. Bye, so Sheila. Bye. Back we are, here we are. Oh, back. there she is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I uh, yeah. You're not getting away that easy. I know, no, let me out, let me out. No, they just won't let you out here, honestly. <laughs> We're up to about 25% already on that um, bite sized little book that she's showing you right now. Well, yeah, that's a fabulous price, isn't it? Mm. Um, £2.50 for all those pages. That's amazing. Okay, so that's the inside panel of the card there. So then the rest of the cardstock that he actually cut um, down from here. I am going to stick onto the front of the card. I'm going to trim off a little bit at the bottom because I didn't trim it um, because I wasn't going to use it at first. And I thought, you know what, I am going to use it. I'm going to do some nice um, chunky layers of adorable scorable. And that way, I think, it means you use quite a bit less of your um, pages. So you you know, you get more, almost get more for your money, really. So let's pop that one onto there. Okay. And like that. And then we'll just trim off that tiny little bit that's left at the top. And then we can start to use the pages. So I've torn um, a page out of there that's got the lighthouse on because I love that. Like you said, Alan, um, lighthouses are quite amazing. So what we're going to do, we're going to layer it onto a piece of the lighter blue adorable scorable okay like that and then i've cut 
the lighthouse out with the steps and the rocks at the bottom so I'm just going to put that onto some pads so I'm just going to grab some pads out of the uh, box here we can use some of the strips I think for this because we've got a long um, lighthouse so let's do that chop that from there we just need to apologize for the slight technical error where it incorrectly says saves five pound on screen it should be saves two pound fifty obviously um but it's still a massive saving and a great price for this 72 page book definitely okay so we pop the lighthouse on there like that okay and then this is now going to go onto the front of the card like that so i'm going to put that on with pads as well so that it's nice and raised and then we are going to put um, a couple of bolts on there as well so this will be on the front of the card Yay. all fixed okay so now we've got our lighthouse at the front there then what I've done is I have cut one of the, um, it was well, the tugboat, wasn't it? We think it's a tugboat anyway. And then I've also cut. Maybe it's a fishing boat. It may well be. I don't know the, the, what defines a boat. I know that one's a yacht. Well, it usually sails, doesn't it? I think that's, that's the most defining yeah. aspect <laughs> of a boat. Oh yeah, I know how to define a, a boat from like a train. <laughs> from a train. <laughs> <laughs> Dear me. Oh, we're having such fun today, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are we are we a bit hyper, do you think? Or I was asleep when we came in, but I'm a bit <laughs> really awake now. You probably. did well today, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have been a, a busy bunny, haven't you? Yeah. I'm I'm so busy, Alan. It's You're probably it, crafting in your sleep, aren't you? Well, I must be. Yeah, I must be because um I don't know how I'm managing to put it all in, but we're, we're getting it in, so I think all of our team are very busy at the moment, aren't they? Absolutely. Well, Everyone is, is really, really busy. Um, our good friend Natalie is currently at Peterborough. She, she is indeed. She's been on TV this morning. Yes, She'll she's be back on, on TV later. We'll, that's we'll right. tell you about that at the end of the show. Yeah, that's true. Um, and that's with a wonderful collection that's just launched today and that you'll be able to see on Hunky Dory TV later on in the week. Yes. We have so many products coming through all of the time. Okay, so we've got the front of the boat built up there now. And then with the second one, we're just going to pop the... I think I'm just going to lift the blue sail on this one, just because it's quick to cut out. It's quick and easy to do. And then we can get that on there as well. Okay, so let's grab another piece of foam strip. That can go on there. Now, if you've got some of our alphabet dies, what I would be doing would be cutting like a hoy there or something. I would put that in here. I'd put hoy there on there. Um, but then also, what are you laughing at? Ahoy there. Ahoy there, you me, oh, me hearties. <laughs> Whatever it is they say. Okay, but the other thing I want to do as well is if you take some twine, okay, and wrap it around my fingers a couple of times and then like that. So I'm going to pull it so that one circle is bigger than the other, okay, and then tie it in a knot like that. Okay, so then I'm going to just pop that on there. And this is just like an extra little crazy um, finishing finishing touch, really. But again, it's, it's using twine. It's filling in that space that we've got here from the, um, on the cardstock. We do one there. We do another little piece at the bottom. So again, wrap it around your finger. Just chop it. And then let's put this here. So we tie it in a knot, put that at the bottom. Don't forget as well, if you've got twine and you've got all these bits of adorable scorable left, cut yourself some little bunting, get some bunting on there because that's what you would see at the seaside as well. So let's put a, a bit more rope down here. Aww. And again, the construction glue will um, dry. And again, it, this is 
the good thing about having the little boot pages. I think it means that you don't have to put a sentiment on. You know what I mean? You might be part of a yachting club or a sailing club. You might want to do some fundraising. I think we always tend to go with um, different charities. Last thing to do, get some of our little gems on there. I'm going to go with our, uh, let's see, we've got some, not those, let's grab the, um, I want some darker blue ones. I think we've got some in here. Yeah, there those, we go. Those boats look really really good cut out like that they do they? don't they but look they're how simple it is they're not too hard to cut are they no they're, they're quite simple shapes not at all not at all so pokey tool we're going to get three of our these were our original diamond sparkles gems so if we do the blue ones here that then reflects the blue on the front of the card and then what we'll do here we will do three red ones in fact, I think we're only going to do two on there. We'll, we'll do a bigger one because we've no tiny ones left on there. So we'll do three there like that. And then we'll do three at the bottom here just to reflect the red in the card as well. So again, it can be something simple. There's no techniques here involved. It's just cutting and stick in and it's just the way you space it out but you can see there how now when we open that we've got the big the bolts in there and then if we hold it up to the front camera you see that we've got we've made it into quite a big card mm. even though it's just using three of the, the little boot pages so again you can elaborate on it and make it much bigger so just using those three pages you've still got 69 pages left to play with yeah of course yeah That's yeah incredible definitely it is for 249 don't miss it Tracy Reese has suggested a couple of ideas for the cards. Um, obviously, a lot of people are saying they'd be good for men's cards, but Bon Voyage or Retirement or a trip, um, yes. that kind of boat sailing away kind of evokes that, that nice feeling of oh, that. Oh, yeah. Um, what else have we got? We had somebody, sorry, Jackie Woodward has said that her husband says that Sheila has got a dirty laugh. <laughs> her husband says, <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, well. Okay, thank you. <laughs> have you ever been told <laughs> you've got a dirty laugh before? I, I have actually, yeah. Um, I think um, you've got a great laugh. I've been told lots of things I would help me time, but yeah. I think um, you've got an infectious laugh. <laughs> and an infectious smile. In a good, in a good way, not like, not like the other infections that we're worried about. As, as long as they're not saying I'm weird, I can handle that. <laughs> um, we've had Lynn M. Parry has sorted out her loose sentiments from the sentiment book into boxes while she's been watching. Oh my goodness! She's finished sorting out her car blanks as well. I don't think I should be buying any more. Got over 300. <laughs> <laughs> Lynn and Parry, uh, if you know Lynn and Parry and you need some car blanks, you might want to get in touch with her. <laughs> Just give her a ring, yeah! <laughs> um, what else have we got? We've got loads of nice comments today. People saying that we've cheered them up. You've, you've cheered us up, keeping us company. Definitely. Um, yeah, wonderful. Thanks for being with us today. I hope you're taking advantage of some of those offers. Uh, that The book, the Plain Sailing Whoopsie book, is uh, absolutely flying. Really good offer on that. Uh, £2.49, it's an absolute bargain. Like I say, it's a, it's a great add-on item if you're buying anything else off the website today. An extra £2.50 for those 72 pages. As you can see, what Sheila's just done with it, it's so easy to make really nice standout cards. Mm. Um, you can use the pages really wisely, you can go all out with them. Just do whatever you want, but make sure you get that while you can because it, it won't last long, that one at £2.50. £2.49, sorry. Sheila, we're going yes. back to you again. We are, we've got a couple of little uh, products left to show you just before we, we finish our show today. Um, this one is Perfect Presents. Right now, this is one of our concept card kits. Look at the price of that. Was forty ninety nine. is now eight ninety nine. so you're gonna save um, six pounds on this. And this makes 12 fabulous little gift boxes. Look how cute these are. And you know what, Emily, who is our producer, is not really a crafter as such, but she just, you know, put this together before the show, so we had one. So, you know, it just goes well to show done, how yeah. easy these are. Yeah, now we know that she can do this, she will be on board <laughs> in our team. 
Um, so let's just flick through then. Are we going to hold them up, uh, Emily? Or do we want them? Yeah, let's leave them on there. I think that gives a good view. So you're going to get um, the bases and the lids as well. And you're going to get extra sentiments and toppers. Or you can just leave them exactly as they are. If we open them up, you get this cute little like pop-up section that you can make it's really cute so it's like a tiny exploding box um which gives you a little bit of surprise and fabulous as well because you get the ribbon too so you're getting all this ribbon with it if i just let's turn this around and then you can see um so it gives you the instructions in here as well um, fabulous inspiration sheet there with the instructions on the back so it's nice and easy for you and again look at all the colours you get in here so you're going to get the pinks and you're going to get the light blues with the cream that's lovely you've got all kinds of sentiments as well so it says you're the best with love get well wishes um, thank you obviously um, we've, oh look at this one wishing you a happy birthday in the lovely black and pink so that's quite um, Gonna, gonna pop quite a bit then we've got the just to say congratulations we'll do for anniversary we'll do for wedding um and then we've got hip hip hooray cheers to you time to celebrate make a wish really really fabulous and there's enough in there for you to make 12 boxes four different designs um and you get the ribbon as well so it's really really lovely kit great present as well for someone or for a new starter in craft it's a really good um good kit to have yeah, if i can do anyone can do it <laughs> <laughs> i think that's just wonderful about the concept card collections though isn't it because you've got those yeah. instructions in there you've got those nice big photographs on the back of the instructions to show yes. you what it should look like when it's finished yeah definitely um, but obviously you can you can freestyle a little bit and change yeah, things up definitely um, but there's so many nice different colorways in that one i think the black and pink really stands out i do i think it really jumps out at you doesn't it and it's very kind of fashionable great for teenage mm. uh teenage girls and um you know younger should we say not younger children than teenagers but i was thinking more i was going to say <laughs> older women but older women who are younger so people like younger at heart 40s 30s 20s you know we're all still young I'm in my fifties and I'm still young, so anyway. But that's the uh, that's what I'm getting at. <laughs> okay, so we have three final uh, products to show you, and these are for the love of stamps. Um, so we've got three sets here. These are lovely. Again, look at the price, two ninety nine. So the first one is no place like home. I love this because you've got the different trees, you've got the shrubs, you've got three sentiments. There's no place like home from our home to yours, and congratulations. You've got the railings here with the beautiful house you've got birds um it's a really really lovely collection you can see the size of it there a6 stamp set 2.99 our second one baroque backgrounds this is from our rose gold collection look at these backgrounds i remember using these when these came out and you know if you stamp this corner one here four times you can make a lovely like mandala mm. um really beautiful and then put this one in the middle do a border really really lovely set of stamps again 2.99 yeah, and then our final one loads of those and, little stamps can't you? yeah lovely tiles as well a bit like moroccan feel mm. um so great for making backgrounds and then our final one is is the rose gold collection beautiful blooms so you can see we've got roses here we've got a clump of um like a cluster of um i'm not sure if they're like an an enemies anemones i don't know which one's which but you know what i mean and then we've got the Easy little to say. yeah exactly we've got some foliage as well some leaves we've got you're beautiful in every way flowers bloom in my heart for you and wishing you a day filled with happiness less than 10 of those left well. really also you need to hurry up um if you want these they're they're done in that almost like a little sketchy design as well so they're really really nice 2.99 um for each of those fabulous that's a think the last of our products to show you in today's trolley dash so we're going back to alan now it is and like emily's just said there is less than less than 10 of the beautiful blooms there's less than five of the no place like home stamp um i'm oh not surprised goodness. for only two pound 99 uh, another great saving on them like we keep saying these products are only at these special prices for a limited time um but to be honest, most of them are just going to sell out. So you won't be seeing these products again. Um, if you've enjoyed them, please jump on them while you can. If, you've, if you want to watch this show again when you get your products, you can. It'll be there on the website. It'll be there on Facebook. Just re-watch the shows, Craft Along with Sheila. 
um, just enjoy. That's what crafting is all about. Um, stock updates. Well, everything is just flying basically. <laughs> uh, I don't think anything has anything has sold out during the show, but things are definitely going. That bite-sized little book is definitely very very popular. Um, paint drop florals. So please do jump on them while you can. Uh, win it weekly question. Are we going to do that again just to make sure that people One last time, could we go through it? Yeah. get the chance? So it's to win this fabulous hot glue gun and obviously you don't just want the glue gun, you want some sticks to go with it. You'll get 12 glue sticks with it. All you have to do is like, share and comment on this video. But we would like you to answer the simple question. What is the tallest sunflower on record? Is it A, 15 feet? Is it B, 25 feet? Or is it C, 30 feet? Lots of people getting that question right. Lots and lots of people. So you could be in with a chance of winning that wonderful glue run. Um, we are going to add a product to the rollover box, which is the pattern panels just for you stamp, which is here. Another wonderful tileable set of stamps. You can create all sorts of different backgrounds with that. Um, that will be dropping in the product rollover box. We have a product rollover box that just builds up with items that we have on every show. And then on Fridays, we do a special spin the wheel. If the wheel lands on the prize rollover box, then you'll win all the goodies that are in there. I can tell you the prize rollover box at the moment is more than one prize rollover box. There's so much in it. <laughs> It's spilling out with products. It's about time somebody won it. Um, make sure you tune in on Friday. Take part in the spin the wheel. I hope that you win those goodies because it's so impressive. Um, we love to give you free stuff. That, it's our little thank you to you for, for joining us and putting up with our inane chatter. Uh, <laughs> um, what else? I'll make sure that goes in the prize rollover box when we go out of here. We can't actually fit the box in this room. That's how, <laughs> so that's how bursting it is. Um, TV schedule. As I, as I mentioned before, uh, our friend Natalie has been on this morning. She's been on with the Wise and Beautiful uh, Moonstone Dyes collection. There's some wonderful rustic uh, forestry images with beautiful owls in there. Um, if you're into dyes, stamps, uh, it's one for you. Try, get, try and join Natalie today at 3 p.m. on Crate and Craft. Um, are we putting up the Crate and Craft numbers? Sorry, I don't know. I don't That's fine. Know. Um, so you can see there at the bottom of the screen, if you want to see Crate and Craft, there's where to find it. Uh, you can watch live on their website as well. Um, she'll be back again. She's on today at 3 p.m. Sorry, with Wise and Beautiful, and then it's back again at 8 p.m. with our lovely Pauline Wheeler, who I haven't seen for ages. I miss you, Pauline Wheeler. Oh. If you're watching, hello. <laughs> um, do we want to? Actually, just wanted to mention okay. that um, Sheila has a Facebook page. Yes. Ooh. A fan page. Oh, a fan page. A fan page. Okay. So you know Sheila a little bit better. Okay, but lots of people know I already have a personal one, but we've, we've decided to do like a hunky-dory one, haven't we? So, um, yeah, if you want to just have a mooch on there, we're going to be putting some um, like pictures on of some of my makes and things and giving Brilliant. you some information and um, up, updates and stuff. So, yeah, have a look on there, please. Oh, become friends with Sheila. Um, she is a wonderful friend. She, <laughs> she's probably in my top five. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Oh, going up. <laughs> <laughs> I only have about five though. So, um, <laughs> in fact, hi mum. <laughs> uh, so our next Facebook Live show, <laughs> we're back here tomorrow at 10 a.m. I'm not, but it's going to be Sheila again. You are a busy bunny, Sheila. It's oh, going to be I Sheila. Am. I will be able to sleep eventually, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and Natalie will be back from TV, so yeah. she'll be joining Sheila. Yes. Are we allowed to say what tomorrow is going to well, be it's now? Credit, so yeah. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so tomorrow, it's an exciting time. We're launching a brand new Members Club gift. If you've seen our Members Club gift before, you'll know what a wonderful product that is. Um, it's a whole new one, so make sure you join us tomorrow. It's going to be an exciting show. Um, I'm sure Sheila and Natalie will be showing it off wonderfully and making some fabulous cards and projects with it. Yes, yeah. hopefully we will, yes. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they will be. One of us will be, anyway. <laughs> <laughs>
half and half. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Okay, have you guys got anything that you'd like to say before we say our goodbyes? No, just thank you for joining us and hope you've enjoyed it. And don't forget to grab your bargains before they um, sell out. Yeah, if you haven't been on the website yet while you've been watching us, please jump on there now. Check out those wonderful products. Like I say, this show is going to be available again to watch, so just watch it anytime if you're, if you're not sure what to do with some of the things that you buy. Um, thanks for joining us. It's been wonderful. I'll see you again soon. Sheila will see you tomorrow. Um, Emily, you're doing your usual tomorrow, I'll aren't you? I'll be here. Emily That's will what, be I'll here. I'll say uh, thank you to people who are watching us on YouTube. We've got quite a few for that. <gasps> oh, hey. yes. Yeah. Of course. Thanks to the thank YouTube you. watchers. Um, yeah, we're, it's a pretty new thing for us, isn't it, it to is. be live on YouTube? So, yeah, yeah if, if Facebook isn't always your thing, you can find us on YouTube now as well. Cool. Um, I'm going to say goodbye for now. Thank you very much. I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. <laughs>